All right, peeps. So uh, here we are ready to learn how to color strand. And I have this little piece here. It's going to be really pretty. I think you probably all saw a finished one that I did in my last email. Um, it's called the Palm Springs Cowl. Here's a picture of it. Sorry, it's not in color. It looks like this. Um, and you can see it, this one is a light background with a darker contrast in between. Um, and so, um, typically color stranding is worked using charts and charts that kind of map out the patterns that you're going to be working with. And so this uh, pattern is no exception. Here's the color chart for the Palm Springs cowl. You can see they have it in two variations. Um, I showed you the picture with the light background and the dark contrast. And here's a picture with a dark background and a light contrast, which is actually what I'm working with here. You can see I have the dark background blue with the lighter contrast. And I think you'll enjoy seeing this. It's actually not a white. It is actually a color gradient yarn. Can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll let you know. Um, I think it's called Color Wheel or something like that. Anyway, um, it goes from like a light green to a darker green to a really dark gr green to a blue and so forth. And so as I continue to work up this cowl, and if I did all four repeats, you would uh, see the light green and then pretty soon that dark brown, that background is going to start to shift into all these different colors back there, continuing on with the same dark blue though. And so it's gonna create kind of an interesting dark blue with a color gradient going up and it should be very beautiful. Can't actually wait to get to the color changing part. So anyway, um, when you're working with these charts, um, the pattern will usually designate a contrast color and a main color. And that's usually in the little schematics that you see along the sides here. And so this is the chart we're working with. And you can see the contrast color is the, is the white. In my case, it's the light colored variegated. And the main color is my dark blue. And so we want that contrast color to pop out. So typically what you'll see in patterns is uh, some of them talk about color dominance. And color dominance simply means the color that you want to pop out the most. So when we're working with stranded color work, um, say on this pretty cowl, you definitely want the color work to pop out. You want the background to stay in the background and the color to pop as much as possible. You could do it the other way, but you'd have a much more subtle color pattern. They are also very beautiful, and if that's what you want, then you just treat your contrast color as the um, background and your main color as the dominant. So, but anyway, for the purposes of the pattern we're working on here, we are going to, uh, we want that contrast to pop out. There's a lot of blue in this cowl. We want that, that, uh, contrast variegated to pop out. So we're going to treat it as the dominant color.